make uh. that. Muay Thai Grand Prix 30, done and dusted. Another phenomenal night here. Indigo at the O2. Dave Fensom, hopefully you remember the fights a little bit better than <laughs> I did. Uh, let's start at the top of the show then. Elson Patrick won it in two rounds. Uh, he only had three to do it in, but he, he, he looked pretty comfortable the entire time. Yeah, he looked like the bigger man, very strong in the clinch, took the back well, and he just showed pure dominance really to take the win, stoppage. And then it was uh, the two old war horses, Varela and Chip Chase. You, you described it as a, a massive domestic duster, but really they're the kind of fights that keep people in Great Britain interested. Great to see them both going at it. Yeah, two absolute gents of the sport and at 59 kilos are still probably give you trouble. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It was actually great to see them go head to head and I'm, I'm happy for, for Jono to get a win. Now it's 2-1. Hopefully we'll get to see him do it again. Casper finally got the belt around his waist. I um, thought that fight might have gone a little bit differently, but he used his physical advantages very well. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was probably going to go that way. He's very experienced, very strong, good, strong hands. He dictated the distance in that fight. That was the real, real uh, winning factor for me. Amadeus is a much taller guy, really good long knees, but he wasn't the one dictating the, the pace or the distance. It was Phil Casper all the way, and I think that's what took the win. Forrest versus Jays, uh, a no contest. I don't think anybody will be particularly satisfied with that one. Nah, I don't think either guy would be happy with that. I mean, Forrest obviously came in with a really good game plan, came in looking to chop that lead leg of Evan Jays and slow the man down. He literally made mincemeat of that lead leg and hopefully we'll see a rematch and they can put it to bed properly. Uh, but I think Evan will go into the next fight having learned a bit of a lesson from that and, and block that kick. And then uh, the final bout on the MTGP card, Cooper versus Saladiak. Uh, Cooper's here to stay. He signed a six-fight deal, and that's a great start. Yeah, very much. I'm a big fan of his. I love his sort of traditional Muay Thai style. Very strong, relaxed, but then explosive and powerful. And it was almost like he was versus the guy on the pogo stick, the crazy <laughs> Saladiak who is, comes to fight and is a great showman and we love having him on the show. But it was a good clash of styles and Cooper's just came through stronger in the end. And of course, it's not just about the Muay Thai. We had a great KGP card as well. We won't go through all the bouts, should I say. Your thoughts on what we've seen in the KGP? Uh, I mean, that, that final there was amazing. Bulgaria keeping the belt, and uh, he's a beast of a man. Uh, I'll be interested to see who they put him against next, to be honest. But that's all from us here in London. It's a massive month for Muay Thai Grand Prix. With 24th of November, we're in Paris, and then on the 30th of November, we are in Perth, and that's a card that features Imam Barlow. So not to be missed, follow Dave Fensom on social media. While you're there, follow Muay Thai Grand Prix as well, and we'll speak to you next time. Goodbye.